And joining me now is National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. Thank you very much for being with us, Jake. Thanks for having me, Andrea. It's great to have you here. I want to ask you about China, some other questions about China, because President Xi made a commitment in February to President Biden when they met in San Francisco that he, they would not be Chinese interference in our election. Yet today, Secretary Blinken is confirming that they see evidence uh, of interference. They're looking into this. Christopher Wray, the FBI director, as you know, told Lester Holt that there has been interference by China and misinformation and attempts to interfere in our election. What can we do if a commitment from the president of China to the president of the United States is being ignored? Well, first, Andrew, as you know, we've been very transparent with the American people about this concern. In fact, we put out an authorized report a few months ago that laid out in detail our concerns about interference by the PRC in American politics and American democracy. And as Secretary Blinken and Director Ray have said, we continue to have concerns about that. I have to be careful about what I say because much of this is based on ongoing intelligence assessments that have not yet been declassified. But it is something that we are engaged with at the highest levels with the Chinese government. The president has spoken with President Xi about it, and we'll stay engaged. And if we determine that we need to take action, we will take action. Are they denying it? Well, I'll let them characterize for their side. I don't want to get into the details sure. of private diplomatic discussions. What I will say is this is something that President Biden has made clear going back years that he is going to stand up on behalf of American democracy and he's going to stand up to any country, whether it's China or Russia or Iran or others who try to interfere in our elections. Now, I want to ask you about Ukraine uh, with finally getting the weapons package done and getting you know, the aid approved. But months, months were delayed while it, they, it all sat in the House. And President Zelensky said that they lost so much ground. He said that in February when I was in Munich covering the Munich conference. He said it to Kristen Welker last week on Meet the Press. They lost so much ground that they, they could lose the war without that aid. Will this aid get there? Will these weapons get to the front lines soon enough? They were being outgunned 10 to 1 in some instances by the the artillery. Now, long-range missiles are finally getting there. They can try to reach the Russian batteries. Will it get there in time to stop and actually push back the Russian advances? Well, Andrea, the minute after, literally the minute after the president signed the National Security Supplemental, he pulled out another document onto his desk in the Oval Office, and it was a billion-dollar drawdown package with artillery, with HIMARS ammunition, with air defense interceptors, and he signed that. And those munitions are moving as we speak into Ukraine. They were moving within hours of the signing of the bill. And so, yes, we will get capabilities to the front lines to help those brave Ukrainian defenders be able to hold the line against the continued Russian onslaught. But it is a fair point. And I've said this publicly myself that um, Ukraine ended up in a deep hole because of the delay in the aid over six months that Congress worked this but didn't pass it. And it's going to take some time to dig out of that hole. And in the days ahead, Ukraine will continue to be under pressure. But as time goes on, we believe Ukraine's strategic position is strong. We believe the support for Ukraine in the United States and Europe is strong. And we believe ultimately Ukraine can win this war. They say they need air defenses desperately. They want patriots. The prime minister was here sitting right there last week telling me that I've checked with our officials in the military, and they say there's a shortage of patriots. Germany has sent more patriots to Ukraine than the U.S. has. Can we get them more? Well, first of all, if you think about the role the U.S. plays, it's not just what we send. It's what we work with other countries to send. And Secretary Lloyd Austin runs a monthly meeting of the defense ministers of 50 countries, almost like a quarterback, calling the plays to get air defense interceptors into Ukraine. So we've got some from Germany, we have some from other countries, we have some from the United States. And we are doing a lot of the supplying of the actual missiles that go into that batteries, uh, into those batteries that get fired. The U.S. Patriot systems right now are being deployed around the world, including in the Middle East, to protect U.S. troops. If we can unlock further American Patriot batteries, we would send them. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is work with European partners and partners in other parts of the world to get them to provide additional air defense capability to Ukraine. And we will do everything we can to protect its skies from the, the missiles that are raining down on the cities of Ukraine, whether they be Russian missiles or North Korean missiles. North Korea and Iran 
rearming Russia, China supporting Russia uh, with money, with all kinds of material, not crossing that red line, supposedly. Can, can Ukraine win this war? Well, I just said it, and I'll say it again. Yes, they can. They can win it. And, and there are really three reasons for why. First, because of the bravery and capacity of the Ukrainians themselves. They've been underestimated every, every step of the way, and they've overperformed at every step of the way. Second, because of the support of the United States and allies and partners, a massive mobilization of effort to get the advanced weapons and advanced capabilities to Ukraine so that they have the tools to fight. And then third, because our defense industrial base is ramping up. We have doubled artillery production in the United States, and we will double it again by the end of this year. So Vladimir Putin thinks time is on his side. He can wait us out. This sub proves him wrong. The advances in our own defense industrial capacity prove him wrong. And Ukraine has the will to win this war, and we have the will to support them in that effort.